gonna be something to come down. Yeah. Kind of see up there, but can't really see though. No. Formations right there. It reminds me of Heath, there, doesn't it? Yeah. So we are on our way up Cavanaugh Hill, which is toted by the Chamber of Commerce as the highest hill in the world. It's 1,999 feet above the surrounding terrain. So there's like this little stop off right here and we thought we would try to get a few views from the camera. Both uh, Sarah's taking pictures over there and then a couple views here with the video camera. So let me show you this. So this is the view and we're not all the way at the top yet. But, like I said, Sarah's taking pictures there. It's quite a view. Hopefully, the sun is not in the camera there. But as you look off, there's just kind of these blue mountains and stuff over there. Now above, if you measure from the sea level, it's actually higher. I think it said 2,300 and something feet above sea level, but as far as the surrounding terrain, it's 1,999 feet, I guess, from what we understand. And they actually have an 8K race that comes up through here. And uh, I think they do it twice a year. But you gotta be in pretty good shape for that. So this is another little area that you can pull off and look and you can see a road way off in the distance there. All kinds of water towers out there. And this is part of the road that we just came up. And then of course, I'm not exactly sure how far up, if we're going up to that, which I assume we are, but it still goes up through there. Really pretty colors up through here with the greens and the reds. Hopefully it translates to where you can see all this in the camera. It's pretty, really windy up here. So looking at the view of this is incredible. Those greens and yellows, oranges, There's all these big old boulders that are up through here and I, it just makes me think a wild E coyote like he's up there and he's going to push the rock down on us because he's trying to get the road runner or something but look at the size of a lot of those big old boulders and rocks up there. They look like they could just tumble down at any second. There is a bunch of them because there's kind of a rock cliff up there and then they've just broken apart and settled right there like that. Look at that. Trees falling down in that. Those big old boulders. It's pretty though. Here we're nearing the summit of this, and you can see all the communication towers there. Pretty neat. I understand why they would put them up here though, since it's the highest thing around. There's so many towers up here, I don't think Sarah or I have ever seen this many. There's a bunch of them. We 
we've already passed a bunch of them. So we're now at the very top of this. Let me show you this sign here where it's stating that this is the world's highest hill. Big rock marker here. Cavanaugh, world's highest hill. Elevation 1,999 feet. Poto, Oklahoma. And there's a little star here that designates where we're at. Right there. That is a big marker there. Of course, someone's put their graffiti on it, but it's dumb people everywhere. Sarah's out on this little deck taking pictures. This little overlook platform. It's actually sponsored by Lowe's, I guess. What a view, though. I like the way they've made this little platform here. Really pretty. And I think all of this is a road that we came down in Poto to get to this. You actually pass through neighborhoods to get to this uh, peak here. And there was a town, I guess it was people that lived there that was a coal town or something at one time, coal mining town, and it was called Whitville, and you pass right through that on the way up here. And right at the top, if you desire, they have this little pavilion and some picnic tables so you can bring a little lunch and enjoy the view and weather. Cell coverage up here is excellent with all these towers. It's unbelievable. I feel like we're about to go on a roller coaster, right? <laughs> we are about to go on one. Oh, look at that view. Yeah, that's pretty.
brake so much, they're going to burn up the brakes. I don't know. They're going to make us have to use our brakes. Yeah. I'll just slow down anymore real quick. Because I'm not wanting to burn ours up. Look at that light coming through those leaves like that. I know. It's really pretty. And the leaves falling slowly like that. Bigfoot in this tree country right over there you see him <laughs> Bigfoot right there right there I think that's awesome this is someone's backyard right here where they've made a lake and this it's called Nickel Lake Got a little cabin and bonfire area, boat dock. Pretty. Well, thanks for joining us on this little adventure to the top of Cavanaugh Hill. And we'll see you guys next time. So Cavanaugh Hill is right over there. And we are currently in the Walmart parking lot. And there's this really cool bank right here. Made out of an old caboose. The fully operational bank. These community state banks, we've seen several of these where they're old log cabin looks, but this is the only bank that I've ever seen that's made out of a caboose. Very cool. So this is a little closer look at this caboose bank here. It's got to be the coolest bank I've ever seen. Never seen them refurbish a caboose for anything other than like a hotel or a little restaurant or something. Really cool though. I like that a lot. This is really cool. This is in front of a liquor store over by the Walmart in Poto. And it is a Christmas tree made out of liquor bottles. I like that. It's very creative. I don't think I've seen anything like that with this many bottles, especially.